Today we're going to be showing how to make your own rope halter out of inexpensive nylon rope. Uh, it needs to be twisted rope so you can separate it like this. Uh, I'm not going to take credit for the design of these. Uh, I do have a link in the description down here to show you the original video that I learned to do this from. We're going to modify it a little bit because we have Dexter cattle. So you're going to want to take a piece of rope that's about six foot long and you're going to section out the first section about 18 inches. So I have the 18 inches here. This is what's going to make the circular piece that goes around the cow's or animal's muzzle. <clears throat> so at 18 inches, you're going to take the rope and you're going to actually untwist it and separate it. So I will show the process here. As you untwist it, you're going to get one loop or so that comes out. And all you need to do is take the short end of the rope and feed it back through that loop and pull it all the way through until it creates a small loop about the size of the rope to go through. This is what you want right here. The next step, you're going to go on the short side of the rope here and you're going to take right next to where you did this loop and you're going to untwist a section of the rope here as well. And then you're going to take the long end and you're going to feed that through from the back side through one of the loops there. And you're going to pull that all the way down until it basically creates a small knot around that loop. It's very important with this rope that when you burn the ends that you get it good and tight uh, and where it's not going to come unraveled. Because at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to take this short end and we're going to untwist a fairly large section of it. And if you continue to untwist it, it's going to create a couple little loops. You'll see the three strands separating and it turns into three small loops. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these three little loops here and we're going to try to align all three of those loops in a row where we can put our rope through them. So I can align them just like this. You can see the one, two, three here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the long end of the rope and we're going to feed that long end back through each of those three loops. This is going to be a little difficult to do. Uh, you're probably going to have to untwist them a little bit and try to align them up as you do this. Once we get this through the three loops, you're going to pull that long end through uh, just enough to create the loop for the bottom part of the halter to go under their jaw. So this is, this is going to create that lower piece. And the nice part about this is the loop on top is twisted away from the animal so it doesn't poke them. So then you just feed that through. Now at this point, you can either leave the lead long here or you can add a d-ring to it like we're going to do here uh, we're going to put this ring on so we can just take a, a rope and hook to it so all i'm doing is looping it over the d-ring and pushing the rope back through itself as i've untwisted it so i'm going to untwist it twice and feed this through and then i will take my uh, flame and heat this up and melt that together and twist it as i melt it together and that will lock it in place. And this should complete the halter. Because of the design of this halter, it's also fully adjustable on the top of the head as well. You can buy these halters from the farm stores. Uh, they run around 20 to $30. For the inexpensive ones, if you wanna get nicer ones, they're like 40 or 50. Um, we ended up buying this rope for about $12. Uh, we had the D-rings laying around, but if you purchase those, you could probably make quite a few of these for uh, maybe a dollar or two a piece. <laughs> 